Celebrity endorsement is another way to promote products. This is another strong way to leverage on associations with celebrities. So by using someone else's reputation or face, you can add a lot to your brand. And for instance, celebrity endorsement is a way of building brand equity for most other brands that are very difficult to uh, test and try. Think about perfumes. Think a lot about cosmetics. You can here have an example here with L'Oreal. You have Leonardo DiCaprio with Tagoyer. So the association here is, uh, you know, Tagoyer, Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio is a brand. What does it mean, Leonardo DiCaprio? It means quality. He's a good actor. He's also a kind of playboy, maybe. He's a very laid back style. So it's formal, but not too formal. So but associating Tagoyer with Leonardo DiCaprio, all the attributes that you give or attribute to Leonardo DiCaprio are transferred to your watch, OK? So a famous person can also draw attention because if you see this piece of advertising, you might stop by and say, oh, wow, that's Leonardo DiCaprio on the on the billboard. So it's also used as an attention getter. And of course, it can shape the brand perception. Celebrity endorsement is very much used. It's another risky thing. Because, you know, you may end up in, in some problems. The first thing is that celebrity endorsements should have a high level of visibility. If you're using celebrities that nobody knows because you don't have the budget. Because they are not known in your country. OK, because the associations are not clear. Because if you see Leonardo DiCaprio, you have clear associations. If you see Lady Gaga, you might have clear associations. But then if you take an average actor who has no clear positioning, you don't really get an association out of that. Sometimes you don't even know who's on that uh, advertising. Sometimes there are faces that are very difficult to recognize and people are just telling you, you see, that brand was using that celebrity. But you know, if you don't know the celebrity or the celebrity is not relevant in your country, for instance, China, China has a very short history of information. Celebrities from the past are unknown. So if you put Michael Jackson, or if you put, I don't know, Elizabeth Taylor, or some old actors, they don't mean anything to them. So it's, also, it's always very important to see exactly which are your objective and the things you want to do. Then there might be celebrity endorsers <laughs> that might, might lack some meanings. But also, which is also something very, very strong, is that sometimes you sign a contract as a brand with celebrities and you end up in the situation where celebrities, they either lose popularity which in a way is something that, I mean, it's not acceptable, but you know, sometimes you, you sign up a famous singer or a famous uh, actor because they did a very good movie this year, but then the year after nobody knows about them anymore. But also, they might also get in trouble. And you see some examples, uh, and you see some examples of, uh, of advertising that were using some celebrity endorsement. David Beckham was signed up for five years or three years as the testimonial for Brill, Brill Cream. It's a hair gel. OK. Think about the phenomenal rise of Amazon. Hmm? I put a nice picture and a nice quote from Jess Bezos. That is, your brand is what other people say about you when you are not in the room. 
So think, thinking also about the brand audit, I mean, a very honest brand audit is talking about the brand, not to please the boss, but just to make a, a very, let's say, authentic and objective assessment. Do you think that Valentino is happy to be portrayed this way when they are spending millions in doing fashion shows, in having celebrities, in uh, being super exclusive? No. But they are losing control over this kind of stuff. So the brand now is more than ever in the hands of the consumer. At the same time, we said that brands have a kind of, they have cultural badge. Uh, they live uh, of cultural influences. So I've put here an example of Hypebeast, which is very popular amongst, uh, uh, let's say, young generation, especially when it comes to lifestyle brand and shoes. And you see an example or of how brands can benefit from having a certain kind of positioning. So this is not a customer. This is not a brand. It's a kind of digital magazine that is talking by representing the brand. 